Buddhism has a long history in Indonesia, and is recognized as one of six official religions in Indonesia, along with Islam, Christianity Protestantism and Catholicism, Hinduism and Confucianism. According to the 2000 national census roughly 0.8% of the total citizens of Indonesia were Buddhists, and numbered around 1.7 million. Most Buddhists are concentrated in Jakarta, Riau, Riau Islands, Bangka Blitung, North Sumatra, and West Kalimantan. These totals, however, are probably inflated, as practitioners of Taoism and Chinese folk religion, which are not considered official religions of Indonesia, likely declared themselves as Buddhists on the most recent census. Today, the majority of Buddhists in Indonesia are Chinese, however small numbers of native such as Javanese and Sasak Buddhists are also present. History Antiquities Buddhism is the second oldest religion in Indonesia after Hinduism, which arrived from India around the 2nd century. The history of Buddhism in Indonesia is closely related to the history of Hinduism, as a number of empires influenced by Indian culture were established around the same period. The arrival of Buddhism in the Indonesian archipelago began with trading activity, from the early 1st century, by way of the maritime Silk Road between Indonesia and India. The oldest Buddhist archaeological site in Indonesia is arguably the Batujaya Stupas complex in Karawang, West Java. The oldest relic in Batujaya was estimated to originate from the 2nd century, while the latest dated from the 12th century. Subsequently, significant numbers of Buddhist sites were found in Jambi, Palembang, and Riau provinces in Sumatra, as well as in Central and East Java. The Indonesian archipelago has, over the centuries, witnessed the rise and fall of powerful Buddhist empires, such as the Sailendra dynasty, the Mataram, and Srivijaya empires. According to some Chinese source, a Chinese Buddhist monk I Singh on his pilgrim journey to India, witnessed the powerful maritime empire of Srivijaya based on Sumatra in the 7th century. The empire served as a Buddhist learning center in the region. A notable Srivijayan revered Buddhist scholar is Dharmakirti, a Srivijayan prince of the Sailendra dynasty, born around the turn of the 7th century in Sumatra. He became a revered scholar monk in Srivijaya and moved to India to become a teacher at the famed Nalanda University, as well as a poet. He built on and reinterpreted the work of Dignaga, the pioneer of Buddhist logic, and was very influential among Brahmin logicians as well as Buddhists. His theories became normative in Tibet and are studied to this day as a part of the basic monastic curriculum. Other Buddhist monks that visited Indonesia were Atisha, Dharmapala, a professor of Nalanda, and the South Indian Buddhist Varabodhi. Srivijaya was the largest Buddhist empire ever formed in Indonesian history. A number of Buddhist historical heritages can be found in Indonesia, including the 8th century Borobudur Mandala Monument and Sewu Temple in central Java, Batujaya in west Java, Mawaro Jambi, Muara Takus, and Bahal Temple in Sumatra, and numerous of statues or inscriptions from the earlier history of Indonesian Hindu Buddhist kingdoms. During the era of Kedari, Singhasari, and Majapahit Empire, Buddhism identified as Dharma Ri Kesogatan was acknowledged as one of kingdom's official religions along with Hinduism. Although some of kings might favor Hinduism over another, nevertheless the harmony, toleration, and even syncretism were promoted as manifested in Binika Tungal Ika national motto, coined from Kakawan Sudasoma, written by Mpu Tantular to promotes tolerance between Hindus Shivet and Buddhists. The classical era of ancient Java also had produces some of the exquisite examples of Buddhist arts, such as the statue of Prashnaparamita and the statue of Buddha Varachana and Bodhisattva Padmapani and Varapani in Mendit Temple. Topic. Decline and revival In the 13th century Islam entered the archipelago, and began gaining foothold in coastal port towns. The fall of Hindu-Buddhist Majapahit Empire in late 15th century marked the end of Dharmic civilization dominance in Indonesia. By the end of the 16th century, Islam had supplanted Hinduism and Buddhism as the dominant religion of Java and Sumatra. After that for 450 years, there is no significant Buddhist adherence and practice in Indonesia. Many of Buddhist sites, stupas, temples, and manuscripts are lost or forgotten, as the region has become more predominantly Muslim. 
During this era of decline, there was only small numbers of people practicing Buddhism, most of them are Chinese immigrants that settled in Indonesia with migration wave accelerated in the 17th century. Many of Klenting Chinese temples in Indonesia are in fact a Tridharma temple that houses three faiths, namely Buddhism, Confucianism and Taoism. In 1934, Narada Thera, a missionary monk from Sri Lanka, visited Dutch East Indies today Indonesia for the first time as part of his journey to spread the Dharma in Southeast Asia. This opportunity was used by a few local Buddhists to revive Buddhism in Indonesia. A Bodhi tree planting ceremony was held in southeastern side of Borobudur on 10 March 1934 under the blessing of Narada Thera, and some Upasakas were ordained as monks. Modern Indonesia Following the downfall of President Sukarno in the mid-1960s, Pancasila was reasserted as the official Indonesian policy on religion to only recognize monotheism. As a result, founder of Purbudi Indonesian Buddhists organization, Bhikkhu Ashan Jinarakita, proposed that there was a single supreme deity, Sanghyang Adi Buddha. He was also backed up with the history behind the Indonesian version of Buddhism in ancient Javanese texts, and the shape of the Borobudur temple. During the New Order era, the state ideology of Pancasila listed Buddhism among the five official religions of Indonesia. The national leader of the time, Suharto, had considered Buddhism and Hinduism as Indonesian classical religions. The first Theravada ordination of bhikkhunis in Indonesia after more than a thousand years occurred in 2015 at Wisma Kusalayani in Lembang, Bandung. Those ordained included Vahiradevi Siddhika Bhikkhuni from Indonesia, Metta Bhikkhuni from Sri Lanka, Anula Bhikkhuni from Japan, Santasuka Santamana Bhikkhuni from Vietnam, Suki Bhikkhuni and Sumangala Bhikkhuni from Malaysia, and Genti Bhikkhuni from Australia. Today, in reference to the principle of Pancasila, a Buddhist monk representing the Buddhist Sangha, along with priest, Brahmin, pastor, or representative of other recognized religions, would participate in nearly all state sponsored ceremonies. The ceremony would always include a prayer led by a Muslim imam with representatives of other faiths standing in a row behind him. It is noteworthy that, although the majority of Indonesian Buddhists are of the Chinese Mahayana school, more often than not the representative of Buddhism as selected by the government would happen to be a Theravada monk. Once a year, thousands of Buddhists from Indonesia and neighboring countries flock to Borobudur to commemorate National Vesak Ceremony. Topic. Literature The oldest extant esoteric Buddhist mantranaya largely a synonym of mantrayana, vajrayana and Buddhist tantra literature in Old Javanese, a language significantly influenced by Sanskrit, is enshrined in the Sangkhyang Kamahayanan mantranaya. The Lalitavistara Sutra was known to the mantranaya stonemasons of Borobudur, refer, the birth of Buddha Lalitavistara, mantranaya is not a corruption or misspelling of mantrayana even though it is largely synonymous. Mantranaya is the term for the esoteric tradition on mantra, a particular lineage of Vajrayana and Tantra, in Indonesia. The clearly Sanskrit-sounding mantranaya is evident in Old Javanese Tantric literature, particularly as documented in the oldest esoteric Buddhist Tantric text in Old Javanese, the Sangkhyang Kamahayanan Mantranaya refer Kazuko Ishii Current practice In Indonesia Buddhism is mainly followed by the Chinese Indonesian people and some small indigenous groups of Indonesia, with 0.8% including Taoism and Confucianism of Indonesia's population being Buddhists, a small minority of Sasaks called the Bada. Estimated population, 8,000 are mainly found in the village of Bentek and on the slopes of Gunung Rinjani, Lombok. They are totally untouched by Islamic influence and worship animistic gods, incorporating some Hindu and Buddhist influences in their rituals and religious vocabulary. This group of Sasak, due in part to the name of their tribe, are recognized as Buddhists by the Indonesian government. Pockets of Javanese Buddhists also exist and are to be found mainly in villages and cities in Central and East Java. The regencies of Temenggung, Blitar and Japara count about 30.000 Buddhists, mostly of Javanese ethnicity. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Schools. Today there are numerous Buddhist schools established in Indonesia. 
The earliest school that was established in Indonesia was Vajrayana Buddhism, which developed from Mahayana Buddhism, and which had some similarities with later Tibetan Buddhism. Various temples of ancient Java and Sumatra are Vajrayana. Chinese Buddhism, the main branch of Mahayana Buddhism has gained followers from Chinese Indonesian populations that began to migrate into the archipelago during the 17th to 18th century. Other notable schools are Theravada Buddhism from Sri Lanka and Thailand. Indonesia's most notable Buddhist organization is Perwakilan Umat Buddha Indonesia Walubi, which serves as the vehicle of all Buddhist schools in Indonesia. Other Buddhist organizations include Majelis Buddhayana Indonesia, Sangha Agong Indonesia SAGIN, Sangha Theravada Indonesia STI, Sangha Mahayana Indonesia, and the Taiwan-originated Su Kai. Topic. Religious events The most important Buddhist religious event in Indonesia is Vesak Indonesian, Waisak. Once a year, during the full moon in May or June, Buddhists in Indonesia observe Vesak Day commemorating the birth, death, and the time when Siddhartha Gautama attained the highest wisdom to become the Buddha Shakyamuni. Vesak is an official national holiday in Indonesia and the ceremony is centered at the three Buddhist temples by walking from Mendit to Paan and ending at Borobudur. Vesak also is often celebrated in Sewu Temple and numerous Buddhist temples in Indonesia. Protests The Chinese Indonesian community in Tanjung Balai Municipality in North Sumatra has protested against the administration's plan to dismantle a statue of Buddha on top of the Tri Ratna Temple. See also Ashen Jinarakita, Kandi of Indonesia, Religion in Indonesia Indonesian Esoteric Buddhism Vajrayana Buddhism in Southeast Asia Notes Bibliography Kimura B. Present Situation of Indonesian Buddhism, in memory of Bhikkhu Ashan Jinarakita Mahasthavira, Nagoya Studies in Indian Culture and Buddhism, Sambhasa 23, 53–72 External links Media related to Buddhism in Indonesia at Wikimedia Commons <laughs>